Hello and welcome to this learning video. In this learning video, we are going to take problems on consistency of system of linear equations. So without much ado, let us take problem on the same. So this problem says check the consistency and hence solve this these equations. Okay. So in the last learning video, we have discussed the working rule. So the very first step in the working rule says write down the given system in matrix form okay so let us start with that matrix form so you can just write it as the matrix form is the matrix form is ax is equal to b that is what is this a this a is coefficient matrix and how we write coefficient matrix write down the coefficient of this x y z so this is 3 2 1 and here it is 1 minus 3 2 and here it is 2 minus 1 1 this is matrix a then what is x then x is x y z and then we have this b b means this matrix of constants 3 minus 3 and 4 simple so the very first thing that you can do when uh, you are dealing with this uh, problems on this topic write down the matrix form clear after writing down the matrix form write down the augmented matrix so here you can write uh, the augmented matrix the augmented matrix AB which we denoted by C is given by is given by what is this matrix C C is equal to right repeat this matrix 3 2 1 then uh, 1 minus 3 2 then uh, 2 minus 1 1 followed by these elements uh, 3 minus 3 4 okay now we have to find out the rank of matrix uh, a and matrix c okay so as i said you must be good at uh, doing the calculations so the very first thing that you can do is just interchange r1 and r3 R1 interchange R3 will gives you C equivalent to 1, 2, 1, 4, then second row as it is 2 minus 3 minus 1, minus 3, and then it is 3, 1, 2, 3. Okay, now to get the rank of this matrix, what you need to do? You just need to reduce this matrix A, reduce this matrix A into the upper triangular matrix. And to reduce this into upper triangular matrix, you have to make this targeted positions zero. Okay, so how one can make this position zero? I can make this position by changing in R2. R2 changes to R2 minus 2 R1. <clears throat> okay. So, C is equivalent to no change in R, uh, R1. So, R1 will remain as it is. 1, 2, 1, 4. Then, changing in R2. So, R2 is 2. 2 minus 2 R1. That's 0. Then, minus 3. And this is minus 4, minus 3, minus 4, minus 7, is it? And then uh, minus 1, minus 2. So this is minus 3, okay? And here it is uh, minus 3, minus 8. So this is minus 11, okay? Now you can make this also 0. So to make this 0 by making use of R1, we change in R3. R3 changes to... R3 minus 
थ्री आर वन ओके सो डू द चेंजेस हियर सो वॉट इज द चेंज आर थ्री माइनस थ्री आर वन सो थ्री माइनस थ्री जीरो वन माइनस सिक्स इज माइनस फाइव एंड हियर इट इज टू माइनस थ्री टू माइनस थ्री इज माइनस वन एंड हियर इट इज थ्री माइनस ट्वेल्व थ्री माइनस ट्वेल्व इज माइनस नाइन इज दैट थ्री माइनस फोर थ्री इज ट्वेल्व ओके सो वी आर गेटिंग दिस नाउ You just uh, have to make this position zero, okay? And to make this position zero, what you can do? You can just do one thing. To make this zero, we have to change in here. We have to change in this uh, position. So change in R three. So R three changes to seven R three minus. Five R two. Okay. Now, if you are not uh, good at doing these uh, these transformation, you can just divide this uh, R two by uh, minus seven, and then you can uh, make this position zero. That also you can do. Okay. So, what are the changes now? So, this is same as C is equivalent to. We are changing in R three. So, R one R two as it is. One two one four, then zero minus seven minus three minus eleven. Here it is zero minus seven five is a thirty five minus minus plus thirty five zero. Here it is minus seven plus five three is a fifteen. So this is eight, and here it is uh, minus. Just you know, just okay. Minus nine seven is a sixty three minus plus here eleven five is a fifty five plus. Okay, so this will contribute to what is it? Fifty five and this eight minus eight. Yeah. Okay, so this is uh, minus eight. Z is equal to. Okay, this is. Uh, Minus one into seven is minus seven plus five three is a fifteen. So this is okay. And here it is minus nine. So nine seven is a sixty three minus sixty three minus minus plus fifty five. Okay. So we are getting this. Anything else left? No. Okay. So now we can. Uh, Solve this further to get the values. So as you can see, the given problem has now reduced in, reduced in what? Now the given problem is reduced to a upper triangular matrix. So you can directly write down the rank rank now. So what are the ranks? Uh, so rank of matrix a so when you find want to find out the rank of matrix a what you can do you can just forget about this row so what is rank of a how many number of non zero rows number of non zero rows are 1 2 3 so what is the rank of a 3 and what is the rank of augmented matrix it is also 3 okay so you can write Rank of this is equal to three. That is, that is. Okay, you can write like this also. Rank of A is equal to R equal to three. Rank of C R dash is also equal to three, and N is equal to number of unknowns. Number of unknowns is also equal to three. So. What does it says? It says R is equal to n, and R is equal to R dash is equal to n. So the given system is consistent. The given system is consistent.
and half and half unique solution and half unique solution okay and to get that unique solution what we have to do we just have to write down the matrix form with the final matrix okay therefore 1 implies x is equal to b so what is my x equal to b now making use of this so this is 1 0 0 then 2 minus 7 0 then 1 minus 3 8 this is matrix a then matrix x is x y z and then this matrix of constant 4 minus 11 minus 8 okay so find out the rank now sorry not rank <laughs> solution so this is x plus 2y plus z is equal to 4 then we have minus 7y minus 3z minus 11 and here it is 8z is equal to minus 8 so from the last equation this implies z is equal to minus 1 then say this is to be equation 1 equation 2 so 2 implies 2 implies minus 7y plus 3 is equal to minus 11. So this will gives you minus 7y is equal to minus 7y is equal to minus 14. Minus 11 minus 3 minus 14 that is y is equal to 2. Okay and now you substitute these values in 1. So 1 implies what is it x plus 2 to the 4 minus 1 is equal to 4 so this is 4 minus 1 is 3 and 4 minus 3 is 1 so this is x is equal to 3 okay therefore therefore 4 minus 1 is 3 4 minus 3 sorry 4 minus 1 is 3, 4 minus 3 is 1, yeah. Therefore, the required, therefore, the required solution is x is equal to 1, y is equal to 2, and z is equal to minus 1. This is the required solution. So, I hope uh, this video lecture is making sense. And I want you to solve one problem on this topic. So let me give you one problem. x plus 3y. We just have to try this. Try this problem. x plus 3y plus 3z is equal to 12. Second is x plus 4y plus 4z is equal to 13 it's 15 and the last equation is x plus 3y plus 4z is equal to 13 okay so this is the problem you have to solve for practice and see whether you are getting the solution or not. Okay. So thank you for watching this learning video and enjoy learning mathematics. Thank you.